I love Target, you love Target, we all love Target. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new setup. It's been a while since I've been here on YouTube because I was in the middle of moving. I moved back to Wisconsin, now I'm back in New York. I looked for an apartment. I found this one and I'm in the middle of furnishing it, which is why I'm doing this Target haul. They have some amazing home decor pieces that I'm obsessed with and the price point is amazing. But I have all the pieces here with me, so let's get into the haul of what I bought at Target for my new home. The first thing that I bought was this utensil holder for your kitchen. I absolutely love these details. It's really intricate and I put like my wooden spoons in here and I leave it on my countertop. I think it adds a little bit of style to my space. My kitchen is all white so this adds a little bit of detail without being too overpowering. By the way I will be linking all of the things that I'm talking about in the description box below if you want to look it up yourself. But I think this is so beautiful. It kind of looks really antiqued and detailed so I love this for my kitchen. I also bought this spoon rest and I think it matches like really nicely with this utensil holder and I'm really into the dark black stone kind of vibe that's going on it looks very expensive it looks kind of like crate and barrel and I believe it was like $7.99 and the last kitchen item is this wood cutting board cutting board like I'm not really into cutting boards the wood hue in this cutting board is beautiful it was $19.99 and I could not resist. This adds so much warmth to the kitchen counter. Put these pieces together, it creates this beautiful warm color tone to the kitchen and it's just so beautiful. It's used, but how beautiful is this wood? I'm into wood lately, you'll see from my other picks. Let's talk about fragrance now from Target because I've never ever bought candles from Target. I don't, I never just looked in their candle aisle. I just didn't think they were that good. And I was walking through Target one day and I passed this new candle collection. I've never seen it before. I just love the packaging. I think it's really cute. And the smell. Oh my God, it smells like warm fireplaces fall. If you like a woodsy scent, you have to pick this up. I don't believe they sell it in any other size. They only sell it in this tall one, so keep an eye out for the gray tall one. But they also have amazing scents with this collection line. They're really good. Like I never was a fan of Target fragrance, but I'm obsessed with this, obviously. I just got it and it's already halfway done. I like this at night, makes the room smell really good. There are reviews online saying that it doesn't smell or the scent is very low. I think it's like a medium scent. It's not overpowering. I don't really like overpowering scents. So if you like something in the middle and you love woodsy, definitely check out the Vetiver and Cedarwood candle from Project 62. And this was $10. The candle that I got from Target was this lemon candle from the Magnolia Joanna Gaines line. Joanna Gaines is making money because I'm obsessed with like all of her things. And this candle, does this not look expensive? This concrete detail, I also keep this on my kitchen. I'll show a little vignette of what it looks like. This candle is so nice. I haven't lit it yet because I kind of like it for a decor piece, but if I did light it, I probably would take the wax out and use it for something else, maybe like a votive holder or pencil holder, but I'm obsessed with this concrete wood natural vibe. There's other scents. I got lemon for the kitchen, but they also have like a few others, $12.99. I think it makes any room look so sharp. I'm just obsessed with this candle. Also from the Magnolia line. And this is a reed diffuser. This is in the scent Fig. Fig also comes in this size, but I got it for the bathroom. I like this scent more than all of them. So if you see Fig in the concrete candle or the reed diffuser, I highly recommend getting it. It makes my whole front entrance, entrance, it makes the whole front of my house smell amazing. I refer to my apartment as my house, but it's just me. There, I also love the design of it. I think it, I like how there's no logo. It's just this kind of beautiful woodsy natural color. And speaking of wood, this is a tissue box holder. Usually I get my tissues from Trader Joe's, but this isn't as cute as this. So this together just looks amazing. And I love the natural hue. This makes any space kind of look like a spa. If you want to upgrade your Kleenex or tissue situation, definitely pick this up. It looks really pretty. I usually put it on my nightstand back there. And speaking of nightstand, I did purchase these, this lamp, and I have two, 
these two lamps from Target. This is the smaller size. In the store, I've only seen the bigger version of this gold lamp, but the smaller size is a bit shorter. And I also got the lampshade from Target as well. I think it looks really good. I wasn't actually gonna have this whole bedroom set up, so I think I might actually get the bigger size of it in return, the smaller ones, but for now I think it looks really pretty. I love the brass details. And speaking of another lamp that I got for the office, let me show you. For my office desk, I actually got two of them to mirror each other. And I am obsessed with the breast details. This looks super high end and the mid century circular shape. I think it looks super modern and it brings a touch of design to your office space. And more brass, I'm obsessed with brass, okay? <laughs> Is this wall clock for my office. I think it's a cute touch. I'm gonna mount it on the wall, I think, but I have to decorate that more. But this is a cute little block. I was looking for a circular shaped mirror with a brass frame and I looked everywhere. I looked online, I looked at Home Depot, I looked at Home Goods on Amazon, literally everywhere. I could not find one. But I always knew that Target had a classic 28 inch round mirror and honestly i don't know where i'm going to put this but it's essential it's stunning oh look there we are but if you're looking for a beautiful round gold frame mirror the one from target is the one to go it's i believe 70 dollars um and it's beautiful if you are looking though for a round mirror in general and you want it a little bigger, I have seen a 30 inch, so just two inches bigger than this one at Home Goods for $50. So keep an eye out, but it's a black frame, but just keep an eye out if you are looking for the round mirror. They do have some at Home Goods, but you have to like really look for them. And then I did purchase two other pieces from Target and these are more of like furniture pieces. I bought the Loring desk. This is my office desk. I'm obsessing over it. I love the minimal design. It kind of reminds me of West Elm and it was only $120 for an office desk. It comes in three different shades. I got the light wood shade and sometimes it says it's sold out online, but just come back a day or two and it'll come back in stock. But just look online to see what colors are available. And the reason why I love it, it has smart technology where you can plug in your computer charger, your phone charger through USB, and it's hidden in the desk. So when I'm not charging my computer, it's completely tucked away. But when I want to use my computer and charge it, all my chargers are in one place. And there's also two drawers, which also keeps your office supplies tucked away. So when you are done for the day, you can put everything back in the desk and for the price, it is an amazing deal. And the next big furniture piece that I purchased was two dining chairs and it is a wood and metal dining chair. I've been, and I was literally on the search for a good dining chair. And I was gonna go with the all black dining chair from Target, which I really liked, but I went with this wood one instead. The chairs are kind of like a simple design that will go with pretty much any dining, dining table. It looks and it wasn't too expensive and by the way, you do have to assemble the desk and the chairs yourself if you order online. They were very easy to put together. Those are the items that I purchased at Target. I'm obsessed with Target, by the way. And actually, I just remember I did purchase two mirrors from Target that will be right behind these lamps. I think it's going to look so beautiful, very restoration hardware and hotel like. In the next video, the mirrors will probably be up because they are arriving tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. And because I moved into a new apartment, I will be doing a bedroom tour very soon. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. More home decor videos are coming. I'm finally settled into my new space and the bedroom is pretty much complete just putting up those mirrors so that video should be out very shortly and if you have any of these pieces at home let me know in the comments below and I would like to know which piece of these was your favorite I love hearing from you guys and as always I'll see you in the next video bye